I'm Michael Bauermeister and I'm from Augusta, Missouri. I do uh, carved, turned wood sculpture. Um, I, do, I make a lot of vessel kind of forms, some other sculptural forms, and uh, I've been making some big pieces for the wall lately that I'm really excited about. I studied uh, sculpture at the Kansas City Art Institute and ended up working in wood there. And then after I graduated, I couldn't figure out a way to sell sculpture, so I started making furniture. And for about 15 years, I made uh, commissioned furniture, for, mainly for the local market. And a friend of mine, Sam Stang, who's a glass blower, told me I should try the Baltimore Craft Show. This was in about 92. And I, I brought some of my little bowls here and did really well with wholesale. And, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. The work has grown and gotten a lot bigger, and um, now it's all I do. I don't make any furniture anymore. This is too much fun. I just have a lot of fun with this work. My son was about eight when I was making the little bowls, and he was in my shop one day, and, and uh, my son Zach said to me, uh, you should make one as big as I am, Dad. <laughs> that was my inspiration right there. So that was the first time that I made a, a kind of a more closed-in form that was tall and narrow, and it was about his height. And from there they grew to, you know, after that I had to make one my height. About 10 years ago, I, I decided that even though they're all made out of wood, they didn't have to be brown all the time, that I could have a lot of fun with color and, and texture, and that's, that's what my work is all about now. And I realized that I could, I could use it to, to create a pictorial kind of scene. And uh, so then the, the big wall pieces kind of were the natural outgrowth of that. And I'm doing a lot of work, that work now, um, on commission for public spaces and really loving that. My wood is all uh, local wood from the area where I live. Most of it comes from a, a guy in St. Louis who calls himself an urban logger. He gets trees from the parks department and from landscapers that, uh, trees that had to come down for some other reason. So I feel good about that. They're not clear cutting forests to make this stuff. and. Uh, I use a lot of different kinds of Missouri hardwoods, walnut, maple, oak. Um, a lot of the carved and painted work is linden wood, which I can carve by hand with a gouge, and I really enjoy that process. And I, I like the, the texture that I get um, as a result. It works well with the paint. Most of the finishes are lacquer, and I've found ways to add pigment to the lacquer, so I'm starting with a clear um, wood lacquer and adding pigment to it to make my own kind of paint or glaze that I can then build up layers of color and uh, control the, the opacity of it. You know, I can make it very transparent or, or uh, build up layers of color. And then I do a lot of sanding back through those layers to create the kind of variegated finishes that I really like. I'm inspired by a lot of things I see in, in nature, um, but I'm also inspired by things I see in cities. I love the patina of old made things that I see when walking down the street, something that's been painted a thousand times and touched by a million people. I, I just love that, that kind of feel of use that, that objects sometimes have. And so I try to mix those two elements of made and natural. I, I like my work to look like something that you might just stumble across in the forest. You might not know if it grew there or if somebody left it there, you know, I, I like it to kind of occupy that middle space. I've got made some good contacts here at the show. I'm, I'm looking forward to going home to the studio and, and uh, getting back to work. <laughs>